Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. We continue our series of Gluten Meetups and within this initiative we discuss the most relevant topics and share our experience with our community. My name is Oleg Zharkovsky, I'm the Alon Trainers Team Lead. Also here with me is Katerina Alexandrova, Product Manager of Hectera. Hello Kate. Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. Yes, uh, it means we are going to talk about application Hectera once again, and we have several reasons for that. First of all, our developers has done multiple updates for Hectera during the year. All of them were available in hosting only, but we launched Vialon Local 2004 a week ago, and it includes Hectera, congratulations. So now all of our partners can get more clients in agriculture sphere that is always active in spite of any crisis and viruses. I hope I convinced you to spend the next hour here with us. Yes, the webinar is being recorded and it's going to be posted at our Google web page and YouTube channel. So you can watch it later. But if you stay with us, you have a possibility to get answers to your questions at the end of the webinar. Just post them on chat and don't forget to choose option all panelists and attendees to make questions visible for everyone. So let's start. You can see the plan of today's webinar on the screen. First, let's overview different agriculture topics. Then let's take a look on all the basic elements of Hectera and their interactions. Next, I will demonstrate in practice the setup and use of the application. And in the end, there will be a session of your questions and our answers. The next slide is my favorite and it may seem a little overloaded, but at the same time, it's designed 100% suits the idea it displays. During Hectera development, our business analysts have faced the fact that there are too many topics and areas related to agriculture. And in an attempt to cover all of them, one could create another viable. But most likely, such attempt would end with nothing. Therefore, it was necessary to choose some key topics to start with. They have chosen calculation of cultivated areas and field history, crop rotations, and etc. So the Hectera application was created and new app has several elements in it. Field, crop, crop rotation, operation, implement, cultivation. And to show you all of them at the same time, I have created a special scheme for that. Here it is. Since we are talking about Vialon web application, it opens in a separate browser tab. It's a standard approach for our apps. However, some elements of Hectera are still connected with Vialon. And in order to display this connection, I created this scheme for you. I'll be jumping from one tab to another, so I hope this scheme will help us not to be lost. The scheme is divided into two parts. The left side is about the top and the right side is about the use of application. I marked with a small black star those elements which are required to work in the app. As you can see, there are not so many of them on the scheme. Two on the left side and only one on the right side. And it doesn't mean we have added too many useless elements. It means you can do a lot of manual work without these additional elements or you can do less manual work and minimize it with the help of these elements. I'll show you the difference a little bit later. Let's check all of these elements and practice. But before we start, I should mention uh, what you need to get uh, access to Hectera. For hosting, the process is standard as for any feature. Log into CMS, open account settings, go to top services and activate Hectera. That's it. Uh, after that, you can log in at hectera.vialon.com with a usual username and password, the same as for monitoring site. 
well, also you can use an apps configurator to add an app to the monitoring side, but it's like a bonus way. For local, you should additionally create a site in the administration system and activate access to the created site in account settings. All the details can be found in documentation, so I'm not going to show it to you right now. It's time to finally log in into Hectera and here we go. You can see a step-by-step -step instruction on the first uh, screen. It has several tips and uh, also you can see the, the tips that are already done. But I hope you don't need any instructions today because you have me instead. So let's close it. You can get back to the tips with the help of this button on the top right corner of the window. Uh, start page stands for the dashboard. You can uh, see the global statistics here and you can access it later by clicking on the um, application name in the top left corner. But let's proceed with other elements because we don't know what is displaced here yet. So let's go step by step with the help of this scheme. And the first element is the fields. Fields are work areas on the map. There are three ways to create them. The first one is a manual, uh, manual way. And uh, in that case, you need a good map to work with. And by the way, you can go to the unit settings. And uh, over here, we've got a tab map, maps. So you can add some more maps if you need but definitely you'll need some kind of a key or some accesses. Um, and here is an example, you can export it, uh, add some changes, import back and so on. So in Hectara, you can add more maps if it is needed, but let's go back to the fields. Uh, let's create one with a manual instrument. So I click on create, then I choose this instrument and do several points on a map. That's it. The main difference between fields and Veron geofences is the possibility to cut off sections of uncultivated areas, also known as holes, such as buildings, some trees, ponds, and etc. It's just an example. Let's save it like that. So we've got a new field here. The second way to create a field is synchronizing with Valon, and it is done from the resource chosen in the app settings. So let's get there once again. Here I can choose the resource to work with because, as you probably know, geofences and Valon are saved in the, in the resource special container. So if I want to create fields uh, with the help of synchronization, I click over here and I can choose all the geofences from the resource, or I can choose only one group from the resource. So it's easy enough to create a group for Hectera or the group named fields and use it for synchronization. And by the way, synchronization not only adds new fields, but also update previous synchronized ones. And we've got the third way to add fields, and it's to import them from the uh, KML files or shape format files. So here we've got a button for it, import. By the way, these formats can already include the sections of uncultivated areas. And the fields on the map, you can display them like that. And with the help of special icon in the top right corner, you can display the names of the fields on a map. It works not for all zoom levels because to say honestly, it's useless on such zoom. But if you zoom in, you'll see it. According to the scheme, the next element it crops. So what is the crops? It's, it's just a list of crops with a color. Nothing else to talk about here. 
The next element, uh, it combines the fields and crops, and um, then we get the crop rotation. So let's go back to the top fields, click on the, uh, on the field, and over here we've got the crop rotation. So it's like the list of crops cultivated in the past or that are being cultivated in the field at the present moment. Mm, what else should I add here? Probably that if you have a new field, you can uh, add the, the crop uh, quickly by clicking on the field. We've got a special icon for it. Or you can do the same action in the list of fields like that. Let's continue with the next branch of our scheme and it's about the units and something connecting with it. So the first, the first element in this branch is operation. The catalog of technological operation allows you to add the list of operations and also set the minimal and maximal state uh, value for the operation like that. These speed uh, values will affect the, the, um, the way it is displayed on a track. So we'll see the yellow color for the, for the low speed and red color for the high speed, but I'll show it a little bit later. The next element is a special one. It has a strange color. It's, it's about implements and that's the, the element that is created in, in a Vialon, uh, and in Vialon it stands for trailers, like that. So if the user that you use to log in into Hectara has the trailers in the access, in the resource that you work in, uh, then when you log in into Hectara, you'll see the list of these trailers, but they will be shown as an implement. And you can match the operation and uh, the implement um, in the implement settings. And also you can add the, the whites here. So um, as you understand, this is a special uh, instru uh, instrument, special element that is uh, at the same time in Vialon and also in Hectera. And we are getting information about the trailers from Vialon and probably there is some easier way to add here the operation and width and in, in that case I'll say yes there is such a way and uh, let's check the, the um, properties of this trailer. So there is a possibility to add the custom fields, two special custom fields uh, into the properties of the trailer um, but it will work only when you create new trailer. And if you create new trailer with these two fields, then it will be shown in the Hectara automatically with all the settings field. Well, the next element is uh, the, the drivers and I don't have much to say about it because it's exactly the same drivers from Vialon and we are going to use it in the reports. So nothing to show in Hectara in that case. So let's get to the next element that is called units. One of the most familiar elements here, I think. They are also created in Vialon, I'm sure you know it. And basically we use the tracks of the unit only, but also we can use the sensor values and I'll mention more information about it a little bit later. So as you can see, we are almost uh, on the step to go from the setup to the use. And uh, talking about the algorithm of the use, it will look like, like the following, that the terror will take the unit with the driver and the trailer, bind it to it and collate the cultivated area based on the track and its width. Cultivated area is calculated only on the fields and includes the crop rotation. And the result we will call that the cultivation. 
but this algorithm needs some more details to be added and we should do it in the app settings. So let's go there and talk about the options left. Here they are, the working day start. This option is needed only for those clients who works at night. Cultivation calculation stops at midnight and it can break the cultivation, the night cultivation into two parts. To avoid it, you can set other time of working day start. Minimal mileage in relation to field perimeter. Well, sometimes unit goes through the field, but it doesn't mean a cultivation. This option helps us to set some kind of tolerance to divide working unit from the usual passerby unit, something like that. The working sensor name is a special mask that is used to find a custom digital sensor showing us implement status. Is it on or not? Is it working or not? And if it is on, then cultivation is in the process. If you are going to use this function, please uh, use the same work sensor for all the units because as you can see, we've got only one option for, for this work sensor name. And the final options, uh, the final option is the working shifts and it doesn't affect on, on the uh, cultivations calculation, but it affects on how we'll see it in the report uh, because it is possible to display cultivations only for one shift. That's the first one, the second, or you can show for both of them. Hooray, setup is done. We're halfway there. We're halfway there and uh, I want to remind you about the questions you can post in chat. Just don't forget to choose option all panel lists and attendees to make questions readable for everyone. I hope you do. Okay, let's, let's proceed. Use of the uh, of the application and um, we see the use of application in the following way. Dispatcher, log in to Hectera at the end of the day or at the end of the shift and it goes to the top uh, register. He chooses day and the unit. I've already done it and click on search. By the way, search can be done uh, for one day only because it is a complex procedure and you should, that's why you, sh you should do it at the end of the day, probably. That's, that's, at least that's our recommendation. Um, the result list contains potential cultivations that can be approved or declined. You can see it on the right side of every, every potential cultivation. It is possible to click on the cultivation to get more information about it. And here you'll see almost all the elements that we were creating before. They are added here automatically and that's the point. And in the bottom of this panel, you'll see different areas, the, the percentages of different areas. So what do we have here? The cultivated area where unit was only once. The overlaps where unit was twice or more. Emissions, uh, small parts of area between cultivated areas or near the end of the field. And well, also the area left. This information is also displayed as layers on the map. So we can click on it we can zoom and see it over here. So this blue line stand for the track. This is the cultivated area, the overlaps and the emissions. Uh, also, if you choose uh, the um, low speed and high speed uh, range in the uh, settings of the operation, then we can see that the, the color of, of uh, 
we can see the color with the high speed and the low speed. Well, probably I, I don't have such a cultivation for that day. Well, I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> but I know that I've got one in the report, so I'll just jump there for a second to show you this red and yellow lines like that. Yellow stand for too slow, red stand for too fast. So you, you don't see the reports. Let's say that you don't see it. Let's go back to the register. Okay. If potential cultivation is okay, the dispatcher should just approve it. But if something is missing or values are wrong, the dispatcher should decline it. And we've got such an example here. And uh, on, on practice, you won't even have a width here. So it will be like that. So yes, we have a track, we have a field, but we know nothing about the result and about some details. So you will have to write it down manually. And that's what I was talking about. So I hope that's the reason to create all those elements that we were talking about earlier. And um, when you do some manual work, you can recalculate the area. It should be done only if you change the width. And then you can approve it or decline the cultivation. But don't worry, even if the wrong potential cultivation was approved, it will be shown in the report and there is no possibility to change it at that moment, but you can delete it from the report. And um, well, if you delete it, then you'll have to get back to register and do the same work once again, but well, with the correct values. And um, what I mean that the wrong values, I mean that probably there'll be the wrong widths, the wrong fuel consumption, wrong driver name, so some issues should be solved in Hectara, others should be solved in Vialon. So it depends on the issue. What else should we discuss before the reports? The, the compound, compound cultivations, here they are. So uh, one field can be cultivated by several units. All the work is done by one unit, but in several shifts. And sometimes such work should be shown as one cultivation. That's why we have a special top to combine several registered cultivation. And I, I want to underline once again, several regist already registered cultivation. So you should first of all, register it over here and then get to the compound top and combine them. I don't have the combined cultivations, uh, but, but well, it's just an example. I hope you understand how it works. You just choose those, um, those cultivations that you are going to combine. You choose it and well, click on combine. That's it. And it's time to go to the reports, the, the final element in our scheme. Talking about the reports, we've got several types of them. I'll try to show you all the types. For example, the, the report by the unit. Here it is. The next type is the report by the field. Let's choose some other. This one is good, I hope. Yeah. The next type is by the driver. The first one is okay. I think here is the result. Also, we've got the uh, report type by operation, for example, harvesting, and the uh, report type by, by crop. Yeah. What should I choose if I'm from Belarus? Okay, we've got the potato here. Great. And the final special type is for all cultivations. Let's check it. Here is the list. By the way, you can see the, all, all the cultivations, not only in, in the form of a table, but in the form of, of the tracks and cultivated areas on the map. But it takes some time to be displayed. 
it seems like some of my tests, uh, test units are not okay. But I hope that the bad example is still an example. Uh, this one is bad. So as a dispatcher, I should do some changes, but I'm not going to do it right now. Let's continue with the reports. What else we have here? Um, most likely I, I forgot to activate the shifts. Let's save it. Let's go back to the reports and here you see it. That's what, what I was talking about. You can choose the, the information and sort it by the shifts. Uh, also the result can be exported, but before you export it, you should choose the columns to, to work with. Probably some of them should be hidden if the client uh, doesn't need it. And after that, after disabling some of them, for example, the, the uh, I don't know, well, probably max, maximum speed and average speed, uh, I can export it to the CSV file and Excel file. And um, I, I've mentioned the full consumption. You can, you can see it over here, the full span. Well, um, this information is also taken from the Vialon and um, it is the sum of all full sensors, the sum of all their consumption. And the value is the same if you go to the monitoring side, create a report with the statistics and add there that the field consumed. So it will be the same. So it's the sum of all full sensor consumptions. And if the unit has no, um, no full sensors, in that case, you can use full by mass. So it's like the mass consumption, the topic that I like there, mathematical models of full consumption. Well, it seems like uh, I've described you all the elements, but still there are some, some uh, topics I, I, I should share with you. And the next one is uh, data history limits, because Hectare has its own database and it's not connected with Vialon. So here are the details. Textual and digital information is saved for five years. It includes all the things you see in the report, like the, the unit names, the driver names, the, the different percentages of uh, cultivated area and so on. So this information is saved for five years. But the visual information like tracks and the polygons of all the cultivated areas, uh, that visual information is saved only for 11 months. And probably you've noticed that in the settings, we've got one more option, the developers mode. Let's activate it and let's compare. I'm not sure that you see the difference, but here it is the, the left column that some kind of numbers here. And this is the uh, special identificators that I used for the API. So uh, we don't say that Hectara is out of the box solution. Still some clients uh, may use it in that way. Okay, but still the Hectara was created for further integration with some uh, third party solutions. Uh, and uh, here the API can, can help you. We've got the special button to switch to the API documentation. And also this developers mode can uh, help you to, to create this connection with other services. And to say honestly, it is impossible to make an uh, application suitable for all the clients for 100%. And uh, I, I don't only mean the connection with some CRM. It's also about the basic things like the way the information is displayed. So, to say honestly, I like this report, but I'm not sure that all clients uh, will like it like I do. And uh, that's why only with the help of API, you can make Hectara suit every client uh, and uh, use it in all the spheres that I've showed you over here in the beginning of the webinar. But at the same time, there are clients that are going to work with our interface 
And we've got something for them also. We've got our personalization possibilities. Um, so you can change the name of the application. Uh, you can change the uh, links to the documentation. And also you can change the name of the map, the web GIS instead of with the maps. Well, and it seems like I've told you everything about the Hectera. So now you know it as good as I do. And uh, well, still, if you have some questions, it's fine to, to talk about it. Let me remind you that, that um, Katerina Alexandrova, product manager of Hectera, is here with me. And uh, I hope we are ready to give you some answers. Uh, just post questions on chat if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to choose option all panel list and attendees to make questions visible for everyone. Okay, uh, thank you, Oleg. Uh, so I hope uh, it was everything was clear. And we are coming to the section of uh, questions and answers. Uh, thank you all for coming. I see that we have around 100 attendees uh, of this session. Uh, thank you for your interest and for your activity in the chat. And we start with the first question, uh, which is, um, which would be very interesting for many people, I suppose. Uh, Ivo Sinapov asks from a Nick. Uh, Electronics uh, asks if uh, can we translate Hectera into Bulgarian. Of course, you can translate Hectera into any language you want, uh, and the procedure of translation is the same as for other our applications, uh, like for Nimbus and Flick Run and uh, every other application. And you can start from writing a letter to our support or uh, to your personal manager and they will guide you through the procedures you will need to complete uh, this task. The next question is for me. Uh, it's from Vijay Advani. Hello, from Track Smart Fleet Solution. Uh, whether information can be added to report for different uh, operation? Uh, well, um, what type of information do, do you want to add there? If we are talking about the weather layers, then it can be added as some kind of a, a map layer that I've showed uh, earlier. So in the app settings, you can add more map layers and it may include the weather information. I hope it answers your question. Uh, yes, that's right. And you, uh, for the moment, you can't uh, have this information in reports for each operation, as uh, VG asks, uh, but you can implement uh, your custom reports using our API, for example. Maybe it's a good idea to, to <laughs> make uh, this API useful. And uh, the next question is from Ivo Sinapov again, from NIK Electronics LTD. Uh, he asks uh, if the term of 11 months is only for the alone uh, hosting. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, the term of 11 months uh, as well as the term of five years are the same for the alone hosting and the alone local because uh, Hectera is a cloud solution and it has a separate database from uh, both VLAN hosting and uh, VLAN locals. So uh, these terms are um, for Hectera uh, and uh, it doesn't matter on which platform you use it. So I hope it answers the question. Yeah. Uh, the, next one. Yeah, with the BJ, mm -hmm. I, I see your, the, your comments about the weather information that you expect, but um, well, to say honestly, there's no way to do it uh, right now in the way you want, but to uh, get the visual information, you can use the map layers in the app settings, as I, as I said before. And uh, all other things can be done with the help of the API, like K 
Kate told you. Yeah. And talking about the uh, best maps, best map, the most ac accurate maps there. Uh, um, sorry if I read it wrong, the Kairos Nyaga from Cyrus. Sorry, <laughs> but, but uh, which is the best way to map out field geofences for accuracy? Well, uh, that's a question. And to say honestly, I don't know what map to choose because there are too many maps and it depends on, on the region. So you should choose the one that suits you more and it can be done. You can, you can choose it only on practice probably. So I never thought that there are so many maps in the world before I started working in Gurtham. So if you, uh, if you need some special map for your area uh, and you don't know how to um, use it in Hectera, contact us and we'll try to help you with it. But I I'm not sure that we can give you the right answer right now, what map to, to use and how to do it. Uh, okay, let's pass to the next question. It's uh, from Joshua Nganga. Uh, and again, from the company called Sirius. And uh, the question is, uh, mostly in agriculture, main requirements are for precision farming, for example, spraying activity. How does it sit in such application in comparison with Trimble? Uh, I think uh, um, if uh, we compare Hectera and Trimble, uh, those are two very different applications and uh, their purpose is uh, also different. If you use Trimble, you still um, will be maybe interested in Hectera as well because Hectera can combine uh, different kind of data coming from Trimble, from Bialon, from other uh, sources and it can do some of your work easier and it has nothing to do with uh, precision farming so it's it's just different it's an application to uh, calculate uh, work done uh, in the fields using your telematics data it's not about doing this work itself. It's about when it's already done to control uh, how it was. Okay. Oleg? Yeah, I, I, it seems like we've got some kind of uh, dialogue here, like uh, one by one. Uh, I'll always uh, answer to the VJ. Uh, if we are getting them from the sensor, you mean that the, um, some kind of uh, weather information. If we are getting them from the sensor, uh, will we be able to add it to the report? Uh, based on what I know, the, the only sensors that we can see the work uh, in, in Kikterra is the fuel consumption sensor and, and probably the work sensor. So there's no way to uh, show the um, custom sensor information uh, by the current uh, features of Hectera. But by the way, probably it's time to show you some, some secret, uh, secret places to discuss the, the features of Hectera. So uh, we've got a special uh, forum branch and you can um, enter it from the drop down menu. So this forum branch stands for the place where you can discuss the uh, new features, your ideas and your client requests with the developers team, including Kate. So uh, if you've got some global ideas about Hectera, just go to the forum branch and continue discussing it with the developers and uh, our uh, partners, because it definitely changes uh, uh, features we have in the application. Because uh, one year ago, we um, had not so many features in Hectera and the main part of them were added by the request from the clients. So probably we just don't have the, the examples of some kind of uh, weather sensors, something like that. And if you describe it, if some other partners will say like, 
I, I like it. I want to, uh, to get it also. In that case, probably it will be added to the application. So we are not making the decisions right now about the new features, but we are open for the discussion and we are ready to discuss it on the special forum branch. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you, Leg, for uh, talking about our forum. I hope uh, the activity on our forum will be rising from today. And we have uh, a couple of more questions. Uh, I would like to answer a question from Mike Price uh, of the company ADAS or ADAS. Uh, he's asking, uh, is there a mobile application for Hectare? If not, is it on the roadmap? Uh, for now, there is no mobile application for Hectare, but Hectare can perfectly work on your mobile devices uh, like smartphones, tablet devices, and so on. It just seems like uh, Hectare doesn't need any special mobile application because all you can do uh, in Hectare, you can also do it through um, any browser in your smartphone or tablet device. Uh, also, uh, Ivo Siporov uh, asks about uh, how to update existing trailers in um, uh, Vialon uh, and synchronize them with Hectare. The point here is, and uh, Oleg already told a bit about this, uh, that um, uh, the trailers are synchronized uh, at the login when you login to Hectare. And if at the moment uh, of this login they have already information about working with and operation in their custom fields, this information will autom automatically appear in Hectare. But if they don't have this information in custom fields, then those settings will be empty and uh, later on you will need to uh, fill them in uh, manually. Yeah, but so I, I don't think it's a big problem because usually people don't have uh, such so many trailers, maybe 10 or 20 or 30. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the bad news, but yeah, the point is that it's done only during the, the first login so if you create a trailer or you you do the first synchronization then the the widths and the operation will be shown in hectare sorry for that what other questions do we have let's take a look mm. uh, could you add other format in report the question from hendra rahmat uh, and uh, well the PDF file and to send it to email. Sounds like it's a new feature. Kate, what do you think about it? Um, I think it's a very interesting idea and I would suggest that we discuss it on our forum and see how many people are interested in this particular feature and what it should do. Well, finally. just, just uh, type it in our special forum branch and to say honestly, I like the idea. I, I'll, I'll give it my, I'll vote for it. I'll give it my like, and probably okay. the PDF <laughs> file will, will be in Hectare soon. Uh, I won't count your <laughs> votes, I, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> I will count only the votes of our uh, real customers and users. Uh, it's bad news for you. Uh, and probably some fake accounts will help me. Maybe. <laughs> but okay, if I, I found I, out <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway the PDF file format most likely many uh, partners will support you because it sounds good so just so what you should do just post it on forum and you'll get your votes not from fake accounts of mine but from the real partners uh, one more questions uh, is it necessary uh, to put work sensor yeah the question from Joris button uh, SLI Africa. Uh, is it necessary to put work sensor name before Hectare detects the start of the crop or just when the unit enters the field divided to a crop? Well, uh, based on what I know, if we 
add the sensor name, the work sensor name. Um, in that case, um, the cultivated area will be calculated based only on the uh, interval when, when the uh, sensor is on. And that's the first point. And the second point is that the color of the track will differ for the uh, interval with, with uh, sensor off and with the sensor on. So uh, this is how it works. And um, should I use the work sensor name filter before the, the uh, cultivation register search is done? Kate, do you remember? Uh, so the thing is uh, that uh, the name of the sensor should be present at Hectara settings at the moment when you find uh, new cultivations, potential cultivations on the registrar page. So it should uh, be done so before the search. If you want to find them with uh, consideration of uh, a working sensor, uh, then you enter this sensor name before registering those applications, uh, those cultivations. And uh, if you've already registered something without this sensor, uh, so you just uh, remove those um, cultivations, delete them, and re-find and re-register them. Oh, That's it's the like, yeah, it seems like I, I forgot to show you how to delete the, the result. Let, let me show it to you right now. So in a report, uh, I can click on, on the one on, on, on any line as an example. And over here in the top right corner, I can delete it. And in that case, if I'm sure I'll delete it, it will disappear from the report. You can see it shown with a gray font. But after that, uh, I need to go to the register, do a search once again, find this uh, cultivation and change something and approve it. So I just wanted to uh, show you how the deletion is done. Thank you for reminding me. Well, uh, what else do we have in the chat? The Robert Ritchie from DCS. We deal with snow flow and landscaping companies and the plans is uh, to make a more universal version of this with customizable label names instead of crops. We really like how this is geared to small areas and completion of a geofence. Okay, so that's what I like when, when the instrument that we uh, give you, you want to use it in some other sphere, but with the same algorithm. So that's what I like in Vialon. Uh, but you have described exactly the, the main problem that you face in that case. So uh, uh, we, we have some ways to personalize the, the uh, application, but uh, I've mentioned it and it doesn't include the name of the elements. So uh, often in Vialon, uh, the uh, drivers or trailers, uh, um, they, they can be used as some other types of uh, high buttons or some RFI identificators, okay? But, but uh, they will be still named like drivers and trailers and the passengers. And the same, unfortunately, about the uh, Terra, but luckily we've got the API, so you can change the, the names in your own, uh, your own application based on Hectare. I hope it will suit you. Yeah, I think this is uh, the best uh, idea uh, to suggest because uh, we, uh, in the future, are going to remain focused on agriculture and um, we are not going to make uh, from Hectare some kind of universal solution which uh, also will be good for snow plowing and, and so on. So we are going to remain this agricultural solution for growing crops, you know? And uh, if you think and you feel like uh, 
uh, it's something that can be used in other spheres so so to to do it right for you for yourself uh, you should use our api and you can create your own applications with your own names and so on based on hectare and it, it would be interesting i would like to see <laughs> something yeah, like that. yeah i'm thinking about the name of the application the the <laughs> right the, the, yeah yeah that the, all we need to do is change the name of some elements so <laughs> the application is ready but oh, what name should we use i, I like frozen frozen properly frozen, frozen. Hectare. yeah mm -hmm. uh yeah um the next question from hendra ramat uh um um, most customers high attention to graph in the report. Is it possible to add the graph? To say honestly, I, I like the graphs. I like the graphs in different applications and I like the graphs in the reports, in the dashboards, but all, all we have in Hectara is, is dashboard like that. And to say honestly, I don't know what type of graph you mean. And that's once again the case where you should go to our special form branch. Uh, let me click on it. Let me show it to you like that. And here you can, you can uh, give us more details about what graphs uh, you want to, to see in Hectara and probably it will be added. Yeah, it's an interesting idea. Actually, we haven't thought about it before and haven't received uh, such requests before, but I think that uh, visualizing information is a good way to make it useful and uh, easy to read. So um, I would like to hear your ideas about what kind of graphs um, will be appropriate for this application. So welcome to our forum. Great. And I, I think it seems like uh, the last question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you have some more questions, we got the possible ways for you to, to, to ask and to, to get the information you need. The first way, if you have some questions about the current features, you can direct these questions to our 24 seven support team. We are the standard email address support at Kultum.com. That's it. And if you have some ideas about new features, as you know, you can use our special forum branch. And uh, as an alternative, you can send an email directly to uh, Kate. Uh, well, you can also send it to me, but I'll redirect it to Kate in that case, because I'm the one who, who will help you with the current features also as a support team. Um, Okay, yeah. I'll write my email in the chat right now. I hope it's already there, but but you can uh, do it do it once again. Yeah, thank you. Once again, maybe yeah. someone lost it. Okay, so it seems like uh, our webinar is coming to an end. Thank you for being with us. Gurta Meetups is an ongoing project, and will continue to share the most relevant information with you. Please visit the Meetups page on our website to find the latest updates. And the recordings of previous Meetups are also available there. The record of this session will be there soon. Well, thank you. Thank you once again. Be healthy and good luck. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.